What's up, Shredders? My name is Logan, aka Spiderhands, and welcome to an SP Patrons video today that I'm making for Woody as part of their custom monthly music review. And if we switch over to here, we have ourselves a track on the screen. This is a track from an act named Polkadot Stingray Tuttle Denko. I'm sorry for the weird edit here. This is a post production studio, Spiderhands. It clearly says Denko Sika down the bottom. I was reading the Denko up the top that you can see here. So I apologize for any inconvenience. Uh, Denko Sika. This is the title of the track is Denko Sika. We're going to listen through it from start to finish. And we're going to hear what we think. Let's go. Let's do it. Break load of the guitar tone. So funky with the offbeats on the hi hats. It just seems like everyone's having such a great time, right? Bass line is steps like ferocious as well. Bass drop to kick it off, nice. I'm quite impressed that they were playing guitar with gloves though, that's pretty amazing if that's the case. Theme there, nice. It's such a simple drum kit as well. Just the kick, the snare there, a hi hat. Really, so really solid. I think that's really all you need in a lot of situations to keep that percussion sort of minimalist. But we're going to talk about this track more in the conclusion section we'll let the track play out actually just to be able to check out what's going on we've got the credits here which is kind of cool we've got the cat going backwards and forwards with the bear it's an interesting experience for sure 
Because welcome to the conclusion of my review of this track from an act named Polkadot Stingray titled Dinko Seka. Um, what is this track about? I'm going to go from what the video is showing me. They're being like at school and then doing different jobs around the place. I'm kind of wondering if this is about sort of finding their place in the world, looking at their dreams, their ambitions and sort of where they're going to end up and maybe finding hope for that future. Again, I'm not familiar with the language. I'm just going with the different outfit choices and stuff like that later on. I mean, either way, I think it's a really cool idea. And I like the way that everything kind of comes together. I think the audio visually, it's very stimulating. There's a lot going on. There's some quick cuts and edits there. And I like the way the music video is handled. It's also just a song where I listened to it. And I think the vocal performance was really well handled. I, again, I'm not entirely sure what the track is about, but I nonetheless appreciate the attention to detail in regards to the actual technique, the way they sung uh, was endearing and very easy to listen to. They had a great color to the voice there. It was very fragrant, sat really nicely in the mix. There were some interesting melodies in the different sections there that felt compelling and never felt alien and harmonized well with the other ingredients. Ultimately, yeah, we, we just, we were comfortable in our range. We showed confidence in our abilities and we nailed it on the mic. I thought it was great. Did really well on top of quite an adventurous, intense, backing there's a lot going on throughout this track with the various verse sections the the choruses the solo parts about the guitar but later on there and the various instrumental breaks there was quite a lot going on in this track at three minutes 49 um it, there was no filler it was the, the the transitions were seamless and i enjoyed my journey with it the intensities of the different instruments were very interesting to me i appreciated what the drums were doing with their really sort of like engaging drum chops and, and like, like the amount that they were getting away with with just the hi-hats, the kicks and snares was pretty impressive, you know. The chord note grooves there on the kicks there, the interesting 8th and 16th note fills that we had, um, the hi-hat movements there as well, the flow there, the, the sense of grace with those hits, the tightness of the performance itself, keeping everyone else on track and and moving things forward and is he even going into the half time there with the guitar solo was a nice shift as well i thought that was really well handled it was very smart and you you know like yeah the percussion was handled well the bass line was just phenomenal i loved not only the sort of the focus on the root notes but also the slab bass dude going between those those mutes and those octave shifts between the slap and pops it was great very funky um great sense of rhythm and groove to go alongside the kit great companion to that whilst also um, exploring the scale shapes and modes that were present within the chord progressions of this track that were put forward by the guitars in a way where they supplemented them as well. I thought the bass was a good all-rounder and a very welcome attribute uh, inclusion to this track. It made the most of the instrument for sure. The guitar parts that we had there were very neat in that when we weren't when we weren't like the flurries of the quick alternate strum guitar parts with the funky our dominant seventh extended bar chords there or the arpeggiated kind of mid to upper layers we again had that solo there in that late section which didn't necessarily want to play nice in the sense that it wasn't trying to behave completely with the idea of rolling through the traditional major and minors there was a lack of wanting to go to any of those triad notes really until the later stage there where it tried to sort of mess around parallels or the sweetness of it it was showed a great sense of phrasing it was a great alternate voice within the mix there was some bends there and some interesting other guitar techniques the slide and hammer on bits there very clean with our technique uh no issues there with the actual performance of it and, when you, and it was a great foil to the, the lead singer. And when you combine all these elements together, it's just a really, um, it's a track that's worth listening through. The theme overall did sound like it was reasonably upbeat, like it was a kind of everyday life sort of situation, but that it was showing a positivity for the chaos and, um, and the constant progress that can come with that. Maybe there's a feeling of nostalgia for the fact that things have had to change in order to get to a better place, I'm not sure maybe there's a bit of kind of like middling in the sense that they're not that they're just kind of like going with the flow of it and maybe the movement of the but that faster tempo is that movement is quite quick which makes sense with the themes we're just we're potentially or discussing within what i can tell of the video anyways i'm not quite sure how the beer comes into it but either way 
I think it's a really cool um, concept there that maintains a solid positive energy throughout with the short chord choices, the briskness of the pace of the rhythm sections, and the really pretty upbeat cheery tone of the vocals regardless of the intensity there. We never get too raw. There are some points where we put a bit more body behind those vocal lines but never gets too much. You never sense any exasperation or anything like that. It's always trying to be melodious. The studio recording, the mixing and mastering is great. It's fantastic and I think that the vocals, guitar, bass, drums were nicely niched within the stereo field. Sides of the headphones and the frequency spectra were nowhere resonant frequencies. It had a lot of life to the performance, it wasn't overly compressed, there was dynamic range, the leveling was solid, it was nice and loud without pumping so the bus compression and limiting was handled and nothing including the vocals were overproduced, they could just clearly sing and they could play. And that's effectively my review of this track from an act named Polka.Stingray Tuttle Den Ko Sika. Hopefully you enjoyed it, if you did, please do go show them some love via their various social medias and their YouTube page and stay cool and stay safe. And please remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time as either help more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world. And I'll catch you in the next SU Patrons video. Spider hands out.